How to make a lot of money investing in cryptocurrencies. Let's talk about it. There are three ways you can make a lot of money in cryptos, whether it be SafeMoon, Bonfire, Dogecoin, Chainlink, Bitcoin, you name it. These principles hold true no matter what. In every speculation, luck plays a big part in it. But we'll remove that because luck is such a fickle and unquantifiable thing. Number one, be early, and I mean really early. If you're the very first group of people to get into SafeMoon at its beginning price and you put in $100, Today, as of this video with SafeMoon at this current price, you'd have $9.8 million. You can name any cryptocurrency or stock or anything. If you are a pioneer, you either lose your entire investment or you make it big. Nearly 2 million holders of SafeMoon today and it'll only build from there. But those early adopters, holder number 50, holder number 300, those people were taking big risks sometimes with thousands of dollars. But with 2 million holders, it's easier to jump in and put more money in because, hey, everyone's doing it. Just think about Bitcoin 2010. What the hell is that? Today, you can buy a car with Bitcoin, you've got Fed governors talking about it, and it's because of the social aspect of its growth. You just have to be early. Fortunately, for now, SafeMoon is two months old, so we'll see. Number two, put in a lot of money. I've made a video about this, especially dealing with SafeMoon, but you can apply this to any investment. If you put in $100 into SafeMoon right now, you'd own about 10.1 million tokens. If SafeMoon reaches one cent, you'd have $101,000. Pretty good, but how life-changing is that? I hope you're not going to retire on $101,000, especially if you live in a first world country. But if you put $10,000 into SafeMoon right now, you'd own about 1 billion tokens. At one cent, you'd have $10 million. Now you can retire pretty much anywhere in the world. Of course, it depends, especially with speculative instruments, invest only what you're comfortable losing. If you losing $10,000 is just too much, then don't put in that much. We all have a different number, but so far it's either be very early or go very big. Number three, hold. Yes, long-term investing may not be exciting, but it's what creates wealth. Hold. We hear that all the time with almost every investment. If you're not early and if you're not investing a large amount, you might as well hold. Imagine putting $1 into Bitcoin in 2011 when it was only $1 and selling at $8 because you made $7. Good for you, but holding is so much more lucrative. 10 years later, if you just held onto that $1 investment in Bitcoin, that amount would be worth $56,000. And if you invested $10 instead, well, you get the idea. If you can't be very early or go really big, you can always just hold. SafeMoon isn't even a dollar yet, but maybe in a few years it will be. We don't know, so that's why it's an investment. And if you want to find out, just hold. So what are your thoughts? Which one of these three strategies have you followed? If you like this video, hit that like button, consider subscribing. I talk about money and everything related to it, so don't miss out. And as always, take care of your money.